Hello, hello, and welcome into this Ghost Mode Contracts matchup between Agent Snail and Keep It Cool. I'm your host, Gunther, and I'm very excited to be here. We'll be even more excited once we see Keep It Cool go live. So, I'm going to keep on... Oh, there he is. Perfect. All right. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. So, uh, our first contract that's up tonight is contract number 20. This one is going to be taking place on Chongqing. The starting location is the Riverside. The Ghost Crate is the Facility Rooftop Agency Pickup. Uh, and our players uh, should be looking into the contracts here very shortly. Uh, once they get going, uh, then yeah, we'll we'll get ourselves underway. Should be a good matchup. This is a lower bracket uh, uh, round, so the loser is going to be out of the tournament, and the winner is going to move on to face Crudy, which is uh, a very powerful opponent in and of himself. So. It's not going to be an easy road, even if they win, and it's not going to be easy to win uh, out of these matches either. So, we do see that Agent Snail is uh, already on the planning phase. Uh, already has a... Oh, and that freaking thing where the, the server kind of resets, kind of this soft reset, and so now he's got to go back through his replanning here. It keeps happening multiple times. I don't know if it, if that's on purpose or if just something is uh, something funny is going on every time he selects one of his weapons. So he has coins. He's got himself. Uh, he's he's picking his pistol now, and he'll be able to smuggle an item. Let's see what he decides to bring. He's hovering over that seeker and hovering over the calmer as well. All right, that looks like uh, the the loadout is ready to go. And uh, we should see Agent Snow be getting into this uh, pretty quickly. Which is exactly where you want to be. You kind of want to get into these things as quick as possible. Because you want to get out with your silent assassin. Uh, keep your keep your opponent on the ropes. Alright, so while we wait on Keep It Cool to, uh, to catch up here. Uh, our next map that we'll be going to after this is The Source. Uh, followed by Bangkok if we get to our, uh, our third. So it should be good. Um, trying to give y'all some player audio, so do tell me if there's nothing, or if you need more, or if you need less. It's all good times. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, so I can see Snail is looking at these uh, five, five targets on this map. That is quite a lot. That's going to be... Uh, I mean, both players are on a on. It looks like Xbox, so both players. Uh, I mean, f I feel like they're pretty confident in what they what they can do, where they how they know where these uh, these individuals are and stuff. So I think that it's going to be a lot of fun for them to uh, to route and figure this stuff out. We do see that Keep It Cool is loading in, and Agent Snail not too far behind. And uh, yeah, we're finally underway. This should be this should be good. This should be exciting. All right, both players loading in about at the exact same moment. Snail is looking like he's going to be setting up the pistol here. Yep, there's the pistol panic on those guards, so he'll be able to get himself in to here. It looks like uh, most of the targets are down in the facility. Uh, Keep it cool is taking it a different route, trying to just walk past them, but the guards aren't going to let you in that suit. So that is going to be that is going to be quite the detour. Uh, Snail, meanwhile, uh, does go and grab his agency pickup. He grabs himself the uh, the ghost mode drop. Gets a bit of whoosh there as well by the guard that's coming over to investigate, and he's going to step himself away. All right, Jonas is asking for some more game volume. You just let me know if, if it's too much. I will. Uh, I I'll, I got plenty of decibels to raise it, but I don't want to overdo it. All right, so Snail has knocked out uh, the blue guard, but he's gonna get spotted by the umbrella lady who's just casually walking into the walkway. And Keep It Cool's actually made his way into the facility. He's gone the long way around. Uh, going into the entrance behind where the restaurant is, but I mean, it's a it's a pretty good spot. You can see he is a little bit cautious uh, as he's moving through here. He's definitely walking slower, and he's 
uh, kind of checking every corner, which is exactly what you want. You don't want to run yourself into a situation where you're going to instantly get spotted. He has a huge whoosh. That's going to be a peekaboo, and he's just going to duck into this closet and hide. Wait it out. So very close. And uh, Snell's making his way back up to go get the agency pickup as well. Let's see if he has any better luck uh, getting his disguise. Thank you, Jonas. Thank you, thank you. I will, uh, I'll try and keep an eye on the levels as best I can. I can't hear the player audio myself, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be winging it. We'll be figuring it out, though. All right, well, Keep It Cool does have himself a disguise now. And he is in the facility, so he is... He's in a pretty good spot. Uh, this is where you want to be, but he is still kind of moving pretty cautiously, which is understandable. Like I said, you don't want to run into an issue where you get yourself spotted, but at the same time, you know, he's going to have to move a little bit quicker. Uh, Snail is rapidly catching up to him. Snail's going to grab this block guard disguise. I'm not quite sure the reasoning exactly, but I do, I do believe that Snail knows what he's doing. Keep it cool is not going to be able to get through that door. He does not have the tier one access dongle. Um, and he's near his first target, so he's, uh, he's currently trespassing this disguise, so if he wants to, uh, get himself a fresh disguise, one that will let him roam around here, he's gonna have to lure somebody over somewhere. Oh, interesting. Okay, so he's, he's gone ahead and turned on the ventilation system, and it's gonna cause somebody, uh, to come over and investigate. I don't know if his plan is to take her out. Uh, there isn't frosted glass. He hasn't frosted the glass there yet, so he's in a bit of a spot of bother. Yeah, I don't think he'll get away. Unless he frosts that glass, I don't think that he's going to get away uh, with knocking her out there. And I think he knows it too. He saw he was getting himself spotted by the security guard. And uh, he's going to rinse and repeat to try and get that same thing going again. But this time, maybe with a coin distraction? I don't know. It's... Who's to say? Alright, Snail has himself a propane flask as well. That will be really handy uh, for one of the more difficult kills. Uh, if one should surface. And, uh, ooh, interesting. So he's gonna toss that down. Oh, he misses. But he's gonna toss this down uh, and head down into the facility through this secret entrance which is going to get him through he's still in a trespass in disguise uh keep it cool is going to manage to knock out the woman uh, who came out to investigate so the next person to come out and investigate the ventilation system should be that guy and he does have a facility analyst disguise which uh would be very handy for him let's see what's his thinking here He's got his camera out, but he's still not, he's still not frosting that glass. And now he's, uh, he has, uh, activated the ventilation system again. It worked to get that lady into this room. I'm wondering if we're going to see the same thing here again. Uh, to get his target. Well, Snail has himself a, uh, facility guard disguise, which is pretty big. He's, he's got a lot more room to move, uh, down here now. He doesn't have to worry about the security cameras or anything like that. He's already taken care of those. So he's in a pretty good spot. Keep it cool might have the first kill of the map here. There's the cleaver toss. And that is one dead target. And keep it cool is going to change into the facility analyst disguise from the target. That's going to be nice for him. Snail looks like he is... Uh, going ahead and clearing out this room. He's going to have to be a bit quick. Because he does have this other facility guard that is coming by. And uh, it does look like he's waiting it out. He's, he's going to wait until the facility guard is far and away. Or he's going to go for the knockout. I, I stand corrected. I think he's going to go for the knockout, which is also good because then you just get rid of this roaming guard. You can just take out that one person in there. Uh, he does have to worry about Imogen wandering through here as well with her guard, but should be should be pretty solid. And keep it cool has his uh, his next target. He's trying to lure him into the uh, 
yeah. into Imogen's office. He does have to be careful here because once again, nice. this glass is not frosted. He's going to have to activate it himself. Yeah, he opts not to do it. And yeah, that, that coin toss, I can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to just move some NPCs. It's not quite going to work the way that he wants. Snail does have uh, both of these people knocked out. And they are right beside... Uh, right beside his target, so he should be able to actually secure this kill and keep it cool. He's going to get found trespassing. That is a devastating setback because that is going to keep him on the back foot for quite some time. All right, Snail has uh, his first kill, which is now the first kill uh, because, yeah, there's no kills over on Keep It Cool side with that restart. He's going to tuck that body in. That body should not get found. He should be absolutely fine. He picks himself up a propane flask. So hasn't even had to use the propane flask yet. And he does have one more target that's down here. Now, if I recall, uh, she should cycle to some place where he can get an audio lore on her. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like... Ooh, this is going to be risky. It looks like he might be thinking about using the propane flask on this woman problem is he does have a body that's out in the open that's not very far away so this it really depends on what he's going to do i don't know it looked to me like he was trying to set that up but maybe he was just trying to mess up some timings or he is trying to hide this body he's trying to figure out a way to to put this body somewhere that it's not going to get found now this uh this facility engineer does wander around and she can see many bodies so he does have to be a bit careful here can he dump this body in there he cannot okay yeah so he's got this body that's just out in the open Imogen will be coming down soon so he can't just leave the body over on the other side I mean he could drag it all the way out to the the closet but, uh, yeah, it looks like he's trying to find a place to, uh, to put the body and get it away. Keep It Cool is working on getting the, um, the same dumpling cook disguise as he grabbed before. I think he's, I think he's peekabooing the dumpling cook. I think he might, yeah, he grabbed the, he grabbed the security guard. I mean, that's going to give him a little bit more room to move. Not much, but some. <laughs> Welcome in, Infamous. All right, Keep It Cool is gonna manage to get that. I'm I'm very much digging these disguise grabs and these distractions. Keep It Cool has been doing an excellent job at getting uh, bodies over where he needs them to go. Snail is in a very similar situation to what Keep It Cool was in before. And looks like he might be going for the same approach here. He does have rat poison if he decides to move the target that way. And it does look like he plans on poisoning the ventilation system. So, what do we have here? Dave. Oh, God. Yeah, let's start that. My least favorite nickname. Welcome in, RK9Design. Thanks so much for the raid. Welcome in, anybody who came with. We are watching Ghost Mode Contracts. Matches between Agent Snail and Keep It Cool. They're on their first contract of three. And, uh, yeah. So, right now, Snail is technically in the lead. Keep It Cool had a, a, uh, a kind of a middle-of-the-run restart. Uh, wound up getting spotted, unfortunately. And Snail, with the drowning prompt, uh, does a good job of keeping an eye on his minimap. The, uh, the other poisoned individual went to the other toilet. And uh, was close enough that didn't interrupt the cycle. And he's in a really good disguise too. So he's going to be able to move himself right through here as well. He should even be able to go into Imogen's office here. Let's see if he frosts the glass. Does have his camera out. Oh, it's it's a button prompt. I forgot. <laughs> it's not It's not a camera like the rest of the facility. Fantastic. All right, keep it cool is uh yeah he's got a little bit more room to work with here he's got his target uh he's got his target nice and set up now this this is gonna be a nice clean kill from snail 
Uh, once his target is in here, no enforcers, nothing like that. The glass is already frosted. He just has to close this door, do the deed, and then dump him right in that closet, which is right next to him. And that's going to be his third kill down. So just blazing along. Still has a fantastic disguise for what he has to do. He's got to keep his eye out for a couple of enforcers, but it's not many. So he's, he's looking pretty solid. One of them is the remaining... Uh, the, the female, uh, facility engineer. Ooh, this one might be tricky. But if there's anybody who can move an NPC, it's gonna be Snail. Right, keep it cool is working on his first target the same way that he did before. It looks like he is going to... Yeah, he manages to grab him. Uh, he's gonna get him with that audio lore and pull him in. Yeah, he does have himself his cleaver ready. Gets a nice silent attack, and that's going to be his first kill down. So, it took some time, but he is he is kind of back in the swing of things. And now it's going to be a matter of, can he get it the rest of the way? Now, he won't be able to go through here in this disguise. Thankfully, he catches himself. He did seem to be striding with purpose, but he did, uh, he did realize it was just a bit too late. Now he's this facility engineer. This should let him through here, at least. He can't go into Imogen's office, but he can get himself through here. He's avoiding this camera as well, but the field is just a bit too far, so I'll have to deal with those as well. And Imogen is currently in her office too, which is not where you want to be, and it looks like he'll leave that, that target for another day. All right, let's see here. He still does not have his first tier dongle, so he can't actually get himself back through this way. But there's not really any targets over that way. I don't think he has a second tier either. Yeah, so he's kind of locked himself out of the lower part. And uh, Snail is uh, hes currently working on... I'm not quite sure what he did there. Um, oh, I think, I think I know. He's trying to clear this out. He wants to clear out this area so that he can... Uh, do a knockout, uh, a couple knockout chains, and then get himself the uh, the target nice and isolated. So it's a very, very slow approach, but it is it is very, very viable. And a nice way to get uh, kind of non-moving targets. And he still has place for a body as well. So this is this is very well done. Yeah, there's going to be the knockout uh, by Snail, and there's going to be the second body dump. But now he, this guy should hear this audio lore. See what the hell that was? Oh, I didn't hear that one. I think he's got to. I think he's got to toss it to the floor just inside the doorway. There you go. So he's going to get this uh, this lore, and let's see. He's going to drop a gun, try and get that guard to come over. Oh no, he's going to he's going to corner subdue him. That's very risky. Keep it cool, doing some risky plays of his own, as he is, uh, he has frosted the glass, but this is still an area where he will be enforced, so he's gotta be very, very careful. Right. Let's see here. If he's, uh, he does manage to bring the guard in. The glass is frosted. He's gonna grab the mannequin arm. There's the knockout. And there's the kill. So keep it cool with two kills down. But Snail, meanwhile, has his fourth kill. He's already technically got his fifth kill set up with that propane flask. If that propane flask is still here, it is. Probably take a, a safe shot to get this. But again, I just... I'm so worried about this because he's got... His, this body right out here is fine. It's this one that I am concerned about. And I think he's concerned about it too. I think that's why he saved this kill for last. And I'm not entirely sure what it is that he's going to do. So Keep It Cool does have his uh, facility guard disguise right now. It's probably going to help him get around a lot simpler. Oh, now Snail will have to worry about this body too. Because this body has been tranked, but now he's moved it. So this is, uh, yeah, this is more and more. Oh, Keep It Cool is going to get spotted. And he's going to be considered suspicious. So that's going to be another restart. Agent Snell very heavily in the lead right now. But, but, crucially, if these bodies get found, his, his run's starting over. And that's almost 14 minutes. 
Ooh, goes for a risky takedown in here. I don't know if he's got that glass frosted or not. It looks like it. It looks like it, so it probably is. Even uh, even takes the extra precaution of dragging her closer to the window so that she won't get spotted there. Uh, have you seen a gull around? Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, so Snail is going to... Uh, looks like he's going to knock out everybody before he does this uh, this propane flask destroying. Which is very, very smart. This this can backfire. Uh, you know, anytime you add more complexities to any type of takedown chain, it, it can get a little bit iffy. But, uh, you know, I, Snail knows what he's doing. He's one of those guys who loves taking his time with these runs. So this is interesting. And Snell is uh he's trying to get the final the final facility engineer to lure out here. Keep it cool going through the restaurant. He's gonna enter through the uh, the coded door again. Oh, there's so many there's so many moving parts here. It has me so worried for Snell. But you know what? Like he's he knows what he's doing. He's got himself a, a nice, calm way of going about this. I I don't think he's gonna go for the explosive kill even. See, I thought that he was just gonna clear it out, do the explosive kill, and ju then just run. It looks like he's going to take her down, do the kill. Yeah, he's got his pistol out right now, making sure that nobody can see his angle. Does have the kill, and he's got a place to dump the body right here. If he can get away with this, he's he's home free. Yeah, he's just got to get himself to the exit, and he is really, really close as well. He's got himself a tier 3 dongle from the security room. Keep it cool. Working on getting uh, the the dumpling cook disguise, but uh, has peekabooed the wrong person. I don't, I don't think that it matters at this point. Snail is about to stride out of the front of the level. Looks like he's getting himself a little turned around, but he is right by the exit. He's got his tier three dongle. Now he's just gotta take a peek or a picture of it. No, I I stand corrected. He's going around the long way. I don't know if he thinks because it's a locked symbol uh, or if he's you're not forced an exit, correct? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that you're forced an exit here. I think Snail's just taking it safe. I mean, I, I worry about any illegal action here, but yeah, Snail's going to be out. No forced exits. Thank you, Script. Thank you, thank you. All right. Well, Snail is going to exit on the first one, and uh, that should be that one. We're, we're going to be moving on to our second map. He did make that look easy. That was an incredible run by Snail. I'm not surprised in the slightest. Like, anybody who knows Snail knows that Snail has plays contract. But he he did that so meticulously, he slowed himself way down, and that was just really, really well done. So GG's to Snail. Let's, uh, let's update Snail's score here. All right. We're going to be moving on to Contract 2. Predictions are live, so go ahead and get get those in if you, uh, if you so choose. Our, as I mentioned before, our second contract is going to be on the Source, the level of the Source. Uh, the starting location is the only one that's available. Uh, the ghost crate is in the storage room, which again, I believe is the only one available. Uh, and yeah, both players are going to be going into this. So if you are unfamiliar with how the loadout situation works, you cannot use your third slot. You have to bring a pistol. You have to bring coins and you use the smuggle as that's your, your ghost mode drop, like your ghost mode crate. 
So, as you can see, Keep It Cool's got his uh, his setup over on the right side of your screen here. I am going to, you know what? This has been bothering me because we, we're losing some of the mission timer. So I am going to shrink these down just a little bit so that we can see our mission timer. So forgive me for just a moment. I want to be able to see these players' mission timers because I want to see what, what timing they're at, what they're doing, all that good stuff. So that should be good to go. Oh, apologies for that one point. I've, uh, I've got roulette on the brain. Thank you for the uh, correction there, Geeky. Appreciate it. All right, so... Let's see if uh, Keep It Cool can pull it back. He's going to have to keep it cool if he wants to take this map off of Snail. Uh, both players are loading in already, which is a, a good thing to see. You see Snail is already loaded in and ready to go. He's taking a look at his map, seeing where all of the targets are. So one in the very, very back, I see. Um, one in the basement. He's got one on level one, I think. Oh, he's, the one he's got is at the reception. That's going to be obnoxious. I'm looking forward to seeing how, how that one gets taken care of. But uh, yeah, Keep It Cool is going to have to win this one. It is a best of three, first to two. Thank you, Street Surgeon, for letting me know that. And uh, yeah, so if, if Keep It Cool can win this one, and force it to a 1-1. One, one. We will go to our third contract, uh, which is also on Bangkok, but it is not the source. It will be Club 27. Hmm. All right, so Keep It Cool looks like he's heading down to the basement first. Uh, he's taking a long time on those stairs. He's going to be able to get through, and Snail is just blazing through these rooms. Uh, absolutely fantastic to watch. He's going to go ahead and, uh, looks like, get himself a security disguise. Um, ooh, good use of dropping the gun there. It should, uh, should pull the guard even further into the room and guarantee him uh, a, a nice way to get an angle behind him. Keep it cool. Looks like he might be going for hotel staff. I think so. I think he's going for a hotel staff. So he's tossed the coin to bring him down the stairs a little bit. Snail has his guy knocked out. And uh, that should get him down into the basement. Which I think was the plan. I think he really wanted to get the basement kill taken care of first. Just at a glance. Alright, Keep It Cool is dressed as the hotel staff now. And does have a little bit more free reign. He does have his head of security to uh to deal with even though it is just hotel security the the fancy hat makes it seem like it's more important right, but keep it cool uses the time wisely and go ahead goes ahead and hides that body probably a good good call you never want to have uh never want to have a body out like that keep it cool almost walking into a camera's field of vision but does manage to avoid it thankfully and uh, this target looks interesting. This is going to be a, a fun one to see how they go about this because uh, Keep It Cool is uh, stood very close there. You just saw the trespassing flash across the screen momentarily. That is a very, very dangerous place to be <laughs> because you can uh, be in a trespass zone if you press yourself up against the door. Alright, let's see here. Let's see. Where is where's Snail at? Snail already has one of his kills down. My goodness gracious. He looked away for a second, and he's already got himself a kill down. That's fantastic. I'm guessing it was the basement one. I don't see any solid red uh, target indicators.
And, uh, okay, this, this is fun. So, one of the things that I know about Snail's play is he is absolutely... He's absolutely insane when it comes to moving NPCs to where he needs them to go. And this particular NPC seems very difficult to move. So he's he's trying to get him uh, figured out exactly where he's going to go. Uh, but he's he's in an open spot like this whole time. It is such... It's going to be such a pain for him to deal with. I'm very curious to see what he does. He does have himself a seeker. And he gets the shot off. The shot's going to be heard, but once this animation's done, he should be sick. Uh, ooh, and I like what Keep It Cool's doing. Keep It Cool is going for another disguise here. This disguise should get him back uh, behind the building where one of the targets is. That should be another difficult target to grab. So definitely taking a slower approach to this. Hasn't taken care of the basement uh, the basement killed just yet, but he's in a pretty good spot. Like I, th I think this is going to be beneficial for him. This this kill back behind has me worried because that is a place that you just don't go unless you absolutely have to. So I'm not sure how familiar either of the players are with this. Oh, and he is going to get spotted a little bit there by the uh, the cameras. That is going to be problematic. Ever so slightly. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a propane flask around here, I think. Yeah. There, same amount of propane flasks here as there is uh, regularly on Bangkok. Uh, but he should also be able to get this kill quietly. So I'm not sure what exactly it is that he's going to do. Snail, I believe, has his second kill down. Um, yep, he does. He managed to, to get the gentleman after he was secret. Uh, and is proving that grabbing this uh, hotel security disguise is definitely a boon. Definitely a boon. I'm a bit worried about this from Keep It Cool. He should be able to get this kill and then dump the body. There's the next snap. And just to be extra safe, he is going to dump the body. Nobody's going to whoosh him. He's fine. All right, that is the first kill down by Keep It Cool. And arguably one of the more difficult ones. So an easy one to get once you're back behind the building but uh getting behind the building is going to be the tough part now this guy this particular individual has to be one that we've seen murdered multiple times it's the wandering hotel guard or the wandering hotel staff excuse me i should say 47 is going to knock him out and snail should be able to get the kill yep that's done and dusted going to be extra cautious, making sure that no NPCs are even remotely looking towards the door. And that's going to be his third kill down. Keep it cool is down in the basement, but he is in a trespassing disguise. Gets a bit of whoosh on his way back. And, oh, he's hooked the wrong person. So, let's see what he does here. He has some wide head turns here. If he goes for the knockout now, yeah, it looks like he's just going to bail on this and try and approach it a, uh, a safer way. I was worried he was going to go for, like, a side KO or something like that. Keep it cool. It doesn't have a way to open this door. Even if he had a crowbar, he does have people around who will instantly spot him. So he has to be careful about that. There's just, there's a lot going on. A lot you have to do. But you know what? I believe in both these players. So now taking care of the cameras. Definitely trying to avoid those as much as humanly possible. Cameras on Bangkok can be kind of uh, make or break. And, uh, yeah, Snail's not even going to risk it. Taking out all of them as he comes by them, which is a luxury that Keep It Cool can no longer afford. He is going to have to go find the security footage uh, and destroy it. And with Snail ahead by two kills, uh, well into his run, I mean, this is looking pretty solid for him. Keep It Cool has a lot of ground to make up. It's not, it's not out yet. It's not over yet, but it is... It's looking very, very strong for Snail. Alright, Keep It Cool is going to change back into the hotel staff disguise. And uh, most likely use this to take care of the basement kill. It seems to be where he's heading. This, this corridor, this corridor of enforcers, no matter what disguise you're wearing, just the pain of getting through 
this small section of space on this map is uh it, it can be it can be very devastating oh and he's got to be careful as he goes by he should he's he's absolutely fine he does have the security guard coming through as well uh but he can wait him out from the safety of cover here snail with his fourth kill and he is one away it is the one that we've already seen keep it cool get and so in the time that it took keep it cool to get that one kill snail has gotten four other kills and is basically ready to go he's already sitting on match point he can take his time with this and if he manages it he's out he's out he'll win 2-0 and he's going to be moving on to the second round of the lower bracket and face against crudy so a lot riding on this but uh he's been so very careful so very cautious so far i expect to see the same gameplay until he can uh, he can get it done Ooh, this is risky. He's going to climb down the pipe and into the trespassing zone. There are many, many eyes around here, and he's going to go right down into one of them. That's eight and a half minutes down the drain pipe, literally. Ooh, that's devastating. That's absolutely devastating. Eight and a half minutes. Uh, obviously, he's got some idea of what to do. Oh, this is, this is very, very... Okay, I saw her question mark. I thought she question marked hearing the screwdriver toss. But uh, but she did not. So Keep It Cool is going to be able to keep his uh, his yellow guns. So Silent Assassin is still attainable, but doesn't, he's going to have to deal with that too. That is basically a kill in and of itself. Uh, but I just, uh, I feel so bad for Snail. You know, he he had it. He had it. And then I said something, and we all know the caster curse is very real, so. I apologize. I apologize. I'll take the loss on that one, Snail. Alright, but keep it cool. Right back in it. He's got himself his second kill down. He's only got three left. He's taking care of the kill back behind. The thing that is different about his approach is he is not dressed as a security guard. You know, I'd argue that the two more out-of-the-way kills are taken care of. It's a lot easier for him to access the rest of the map from where he's at and, and, and in this disguise even. But the fact that, you know, Snail is going for this security disguise again, as we can see, that gives him so much more leeway about where he goes and wielding weapons and all that stuff. Keep it cool is going to ratchet open the back again. I'm not entirely sure why. He's already taking care of the kill back there. Unless this is where he's planning on killing this hotel staff. I am not sure about this. I trust him, but that that just has me... It gives me the willies. There's no way. I, I feel like this isn't going to end super well. He's just going to go for it. He's just going to go for it. He did the toss. Where's the where's the guard? Oh, there's a guard right there. The one that caught Snail. He's just out in the open in the middle with this this body. I don't know if this is gonna work. He's already got eyes on him. As soon as that guy breaks away from the drain pipe, okay. that body's getting found. Hey, you, I. How is how is he still how is he still fine? I don't understand I, is he trying to just i think he's trying to distract that guard so that he can get him away the snail with the restart too i can't handle this oh and that's gonna be the restart no no he might have been fine just leaving that body there does anybody else patrol and could anybody else have seen that body i need to know i can't i can't take it i mean this is beneficial for him in that uh, Snail just had another rip, but I mean, 12 minutes, 12 long minutes of that run, and he's going to have to start all over again. He's He'll optimize. He'll obviously optimize here. He knows how he wants to get those, those first two kills. He'll probably get those two kills quicker, but 12 minutes. Snail ripped at eight and a half, and he was so close to done. Keep it cool. He had two kills down and 12 minutes in, and he has to start all over. That's devastating. That's really going to put you on the back foot. I know that would get so in my head. There is no way. 
There's no way I, I could carry on and be comfortable. That's such a risky play. It would have been so cool if he pulled it off. I was rooting for him. I wanted to see that happen, but M's the brakes, that's how it goes. And we'll see him uh we'll see him go again. What might say you hate to see that? I know I would. Right, he's not gonna be able to go to this side of the hotel, keep it cool, as he's uh as he tries. Okay, I like this play by Snail. It's definitely nice and quick to get this target down. He should be able to leave these bodies out in the open. Yeah, he's just going to leave them out in the open and then just mosey. I really, I, I agree, Street. I think that that was so bold. And I think it could have worked. I really wanted to see what happened if he just left it on that side of the boxes. I don't know who else patrols because he had... One of the targets is the guy who, who would see that area. And so I think that that area is considered covered. And I don't think that anybody would have come around and seen that body. I don't know for sure. I really, really don't. I'm not familiar with the patterns back there. But the fact that the guy got done at the, uh, at the drain pipe and was still fine tells me that he would have been fine. You hate to see that, Dave. You're, you're casting material for sure. Alright, keep it cool. Even though he's got a pistol, he hasn't been taking out these uh, these cameras. And he, he technically wasn't even trespassing outside right there. He's going to get himself this disguise. Let's see if he goes for the basement kill first. He's already down here. This is the disguise he wore last time. No, he's heading back up. He might be going for uh, for the uh, the kill up here first. It does look like he's working on getting the uh, yeah. He's got he's got the female hotel staff knocked out. Ooh, gun flash from Agent Snail. Still green guns, but he has freaked these guys out, which is not what you want to be at. But he's still green guns, and he's got two targets down, so he's, he's... Looks like he's contemplating whether or not he's going to go up and take care of another target while that calms down. Um, but that was his second dart, so he, do he doesn't have an easy way to get his, uh, his disguise to get back behind the building again. Right, and keep it cool. It's just gonna make his way right inside. It's definitely a nice way to grab this disguise. Oh, and he's even he's even optimized the uh, the distraction toss here. I think he might have been fine leaving that body there. L look at the bodies on in, in instinct. He's only got that one wandering guard over there, and I don't think that he goes past that box. If he would have been able to hide that body by that box, I think he would have been fine. I I legitimately do. I'll stop speculating because it's obviously in the past, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's wild. All right. Yeah. And keep it cool. Has himself his first kill. Meanwhile, Snail has his third kill down. Looks like he's making his way up uh, to Jordan Cross's recording studio. Ooh, but look what Keep It Cool is doing. Okay, so he is clearing out this back area now when he doesn't have to worry about bodies. That's that's big. I mean, that he needs a little bit of luck because Snail has already started working on his optimization for this run. He's in a really good spot. He only has two more kills, one of which he knows how to do, but obviously he doesn't have the, uh, the disguise for it anymore. But he does have himself a propane flask, which is the next best thing. And uh, Keep It Cool obviously has a very, a very much more complicated setup to do. As you see him, uh, he's trying to get an audio lore uh, for this guard. There, the guard is going to go down. Snail already has this guy on a hook. There's the kill. 
Should just be able to leave the body right there. He doesn't grab his propane flask. I am surprised. I figured that he would have grabbed that propane flask. But I guess with the target that he has left, he is going to be right beside some propane flasks too. So maybe it's just going to be easier to grab that. It doesn't look like he's going to be sliding down the pipe this time. Uh, looks like he might be going the long... No, he's, he's heading out the back. Okay, so... Or not, he's going back the other way. I don't think he, he knows exactly which way he wants to go for this. Keep it cool has gone back down to the basement. He wants to take care of this kill down here. He he loves he loves traipsing around in these trespassing uh, disguises. Oh, and Snail misses the quick scope. So he's gonna cause himself a pistol panic here. But you know what? That's actually that's okay. Because otherwise he'd just have to sneak by these enforcers. He got himself his propane flask. Ready to go. Now he's just got to make his way. And he's allowed in this area. Once he crosses that uh, that little threshold, then he's not allowed in there. Oh, no! Took half a step into the trespassing zone, and he's, he's got himself red guns. Oh, no. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. And keep it cool. Uh, does have this kill ready to go here in the basement. There's the kill. And he'll even uh, tuck the body back around the corner. Just for some extra, extra safe precautions. And Snail is uh, he's moving his way back in again. Oh, nice peekaboo. Nice peekaboo to get this, uh, this staff around. But I think he peekabooed somebody before. So he didn't quite bite on that one. Oh, the hotel... Oh, no, the hotel manager. Oh, the pain. I can feel it. I can feel it through the screen. This is rough. This is definitely rough on both the players, but, uh, you know, kudos to them for, uh, for sticking with it and just keep on going. It is, uh, it is commendable to say the least. Alright, so now going to be going through uh, the same thing again. You can see, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but when, you, when you've when you kind of done something almost correctly all the way through multiple times, you kind of get a little bit more impatient and you start making mistakes earlier and earlier. We're seeing him try and catch himself back up and we are seeing that kind of the, the little trips and stuff that he can make. So let's see if he can get himself righted here. Ooh, that's almost a full spot again, but he does manage to get away. Keep It Cool has cleared out the back of this area. He's got himself his crowbar even. So he could get this kill. What the hell? Oh, this is going to be really dangerous. He's got a body out here. I don't know if that body's going to get found or not. I think that hotel staff saw the gun. But keep it, look at this, keep it cool, has the body down, he's dragged him around the back. I think this is the hardest kill that he's going to have to do in this whole run. And he's got it done, he's got it taken care of. He can even change into his disguise if he wants to get himself out of here faster. Yeah, he's just going to drag and tuck the bodies away. He's looking around to make sure that nobody sees. I mean, nobody's going to see you change that disguise if they haven't seen the bodies already. That is absolutely wild. And Keep It Cool is going to be able to climb up here. He does have some security guards coming up. No! Ah! That's why you got to pay attention to your mini-map. You saw them coming. But it was just too late, and because he was in a hostile area, climbing into a non-hostile area, it takes too long. The animation's too long. He's going to be spotted, and that's going to be a restart. A restart over from Snail, too. Whew. It's a lot. It's a lot. This map is evil, says Street Surgeon. I am just... My heart is breaking for these players. They've made such fantastic strides and such an amazing accomplishments, even from the start. 
of this map, and uh, yeah, I just can't can't quite get it done yet. But they're getting there. They're getting close. I don't think the snail's getting impatient, but he's definitely uh, he's definitely aiming at NPCs a lot more. Keep it cool is making his way into the basement again. He does have a peekaboo that I don't know who exactly he nabbed there. Uh, but he's gonna let the peekaboo subside instead of dealing with uh, dealing with it. He's gonna just let it subside. Now he does have a pistol. Let's see if he takes out the cameras this time around. Does take out that camera. Checks to make sure that nobody quite heard it. He can uh, he can get himself one of his knockouts done early. <sighs> Is he gonna go for it on the stairs? No. Okay. He's He's letting her walk all the way up. I think he was thinking about it. I think he wanted to knock her out on the stairs. It would have definitely made things a little bit quicker for him. Oh, that's a big spy. He's going to peekaboo her again. Yeah, she's coming to investigate those stairs 100%. Let's see, what's he thinking here? Saw a pause screen there. I wasn't sure if we were going to see a replan. He's in not the best spot. That's going to be a side KO, but you know what? He's fine. He kept green guns from her and... Uh, and this gentleman here, the, the hotel staff, did not seem to care. He's going to drag the bodies off to the side here. I'm not... I'm, I'm a little worried about this because those guards, if he, if he lures either of them through the door... I mean, he's got boxes basically equidistant on either side of those two, so... This might be an unnecessary risk, but he's also fairly early in his run, so, you know, this this could just be his way of going about it. There's the, uh, the performance coin tossed, and he's going to wait for one of these guards to come in. Snail, meanwhile, is also heading to the, uh, to the basement. He's got himself his first kill down. Keep it cool is going to be fine. He's got the, he's got the guard taken out, and, uh, he does have this camera above him out here. Now, he was careful to avoid the other camera. Let's see what he does with this camera. Hey. Now, he's just going to he's just going to run right through it. See, I think that that's going to come back and bite him. He hasn't been able to get through all of the kills just yet anyway, but when he does get through these kills, he's still going to have to deal with those cameras. Which, in and of themselves, can be treated as a target on this map. It, is, it can be so risky taking out those cameras. What the? Command, just heard a strange noise. I'm gonna check it out. Please stand by. Alright, keep it cool is uh, working on doing the isolation of the target back behind the map. Oh, he loses his lock on, though. Thankfully, his target is... Uh, is already distracted, so he's not going to get interrupted by that missed toss. There's the next snap, and his first kill is going to be down. Let's see if we go through the same uh, takedown chain that we saw last time. I mean, it worked out really well for him. He was able to get that, that third kill down pretty nicely. Snail's already got three of his targets down. I know that we're focusing a lot over on uh, Keep It Cool side of things, but uh, it's just because Snail already has what he needs to do. He's already made it work so well, and it's just a matter of him going through and making it work for him. Hello. I do Hello. really like his optimization. Based on his timing here, he's going to have his fourth target down by about, like, the what? 515 mark or so like that is going to be really really solid for him there's a briefcase toss that should get uh, his target moving around and then he'll just take the pistol shot and then he'll be on his way downstairs Get out, over. 
Oh, he opts to use the screwdriver here. Works just as effectively. That guy's not coming back. And yeah, so sub five. The first time we saw him get his four targets down, he was at what? Like around like eight minutes or so? Eight minutes, 30 seconds? Might have been slightly before that. Oh, and Keep It Cool is going to have a body found. The hotel manager. The hotel manager being outside. Oh, no. Yeah, it's going to be a restart. Snail's looking really solid right now. If Snail can can complete this he's just got the one target left in Eric Preston yeah, so now he's going to tuck himself in make sure he doesn't get spotted by the hotel manager here What is this thinking here? Oh, Snail's going to lure him out and away from his post. I don't think he's going to try and sneak in behind him either. I think he's going to try and take his disguise. All right, finally grabs the, uh, the audio lure. We'll likely see him do a second lure to get him even further away. Oh, but both lures go unheard. He's going to have to wait this out. Potentially it would be fine to knock him out here, but I think he's just playing an extra safe given given some of the rips that he's faced. What? Yeah, he's right next to a bin as well, so he should be able to get him uh, knocked out and put away. That should keep him nice and safe. And then he's got propane flasks over there, but I think he's also got a propane flask in his uh, in his briefcase. There's the dumped body. Snell doesn't have to worry about that anymore, and he's going to take out his propane flask. This is this is a really, really free kill for him at this point. He's he's basically good. He's got a couple of cameras he's gotta worry about though. I'm not sure how aware of it he is. Oh, and he's repairing the tuck tuck. Fantastic! He should be able to get himself out of here as well. Making sure to toss the propane flask. Far and away. He wants to make sure... Uh, wait. Hang on. Oh, he hasn't... Okay, he didn't puncture the oil drum. I was going to say, like, it, I think that... I think maybe I was wrong about the tuk-tuk. I think he might just be killing himself on the tuk-tuk right now. Keep it cool with the same isolation for the guards out back behind uh, the hotel here. And uh, Snail is just being extra cautious. Gets the kill... Nice and clean. Tuck Tuck exit is good to go. And he's out. He is out. And that should be that. Snail with his green guns. He's going to exit. Silent Assassin. And he should be taking this 2 0. Yep, there's the Silent Assassin screen. Uh, well done, Snail. Absolutely crushed it. Didn't expect anything less. Keep It Cool had some amazingly bold plays, though. That was really, really cool. Very nice improvisation over on Keep It Cool side as well. Fantastic match all around. Absolutely loved it. Um, and yeah, so Snail is going to be moving on. And Snail is going to move on to play Crudy in lower bracket round two. Uh, which, you know, sorry, sorry to keep it cool. That was obviously a very well played match. But uh yeah, Snail's got his work cut out for him in Crudy, and uh, that should be a fun match to watch. So we have another match coming up here very shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and do the payouts of the predictions. Uh, there yeah. we go. There we go. Well played. Well played. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have another match here coming up in, uh, in just a little bit. I'm not entirely sure of the timings, uh, but we are going to go oh, offline yeah, for just a moment. Yeah. I'm going to set all that stuff up. We'll go back live, and then, uh, then we'll, yeah, we'll take it from there. So thank you all so much for coming out. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, stick around if you so choose, and uh, we'll see you very soon.